below it was closed okay and we uh, uh, what we analyzed is in case the nifty opens flat right and within the range that is within the s range if the nifty opens uh, what we said right in case if the cpr is taken on the upside right only then we look for long opportunities in the market okay unless the cpr is not taken on the upside right uh, we will be anticipating a possible rejection trade uh, from the cpr and then in that case right we'll uh, be sitting for these lower targets of uh, previous days low and then lower targets so this is was our analysis in the pre market right in the sense of before the market opened this was the analysis and we clearly said that in case cpr is not taken on uh, taken on the upside will not go for long so that is the uh, bias we had in the market so let's see like what uh, nifty has done today okay okay this is what after market uh, what happened uh, we uh, we said like in case of a, a flat opening uh, cpr should act as resistance but the first 15 minutes itself right we can see this was taken on the upside right and we can see this uh, once the uh, cpr which we thought should act as a resistance is taken on the upside uh, it acted as a support and uh, we can see this once this is taken out right um, in uh, we can see this was the resistance that was there beautifully it went and tested that resistance and this resistance was not taken on the upside it was tested again a rejection from here and then you can see it came back to the cpr and again pull back from here and then rallied out all the way to this resistance on the upside right okay that is 1853 this is our target t1 on the upside okay so uh sitting is like a key thing is like the uh, why i'm showing this uh, post market uh, what we did and now is because the, this is the only way we can learn in the market because the thing is like once you start to declutter right or uh, once you start to uh, break down the structure of the markets like this right then it becomes easy for us to learn whether what we analyzed worked in the market or where we went wrong in the market okay so that is one exercise that we generally that's why i prefer to do this at the end of uh, before we start the next session because uh we have to know like we, if, if it is working for us or if it is not working for us okay that's the point of doing this exercise okay so this is how nifty uh, worked out today and let me just see like what triggers in nifty was fired out today and how it worked out okay so as usual uh, the last uh, uh, pre dc that is the previous day's closing pack so a candle should act as a possible support or resistance so what happened in the morning when the market opened right this is where it is open around 17 922 beautifully it came tested that first 5 minutes candle this uh, now what i have plotted is i have just plotted only the intermediate cpr with the intermediate support and resistance zones okay the key thing is right and since uh, sitting is like as you all know like this group right in sense Uh, whatever the learnings what we are doing is continuously evolving in the process okay that's the main motive behind starting this uh, uh what you call as uh, initiative of uh, traders hedge application or things because thing is like uh, even i am learning in the market like as you all uh, also learning right i'm also learning in the market and i'm also trying to get it much more easier to trade and much more efficient to trade okay so all these exercises what we are including in the indicator us or all the process what we are trying to uh, do is will be complete uh, will be polished day in and day out like for instance as we are making new learnings in the market we'll also try to refine our process in the markets okay so uh, to make it simpler right i just uh, now plotted only the intermediate cpr okay and also you can see this bc pc and dc this is nothing but your daily pivots okay just the daily pivots with the intermediate cpr and the intermediate support and resistances okay so last day what we analyzed last session we know this is a support and this is a resistance okay so in case market opens within this range right that is what we said like if it opens within the range if the bc is taken on the upside that's where we said like uh, we look for possible long in case if you are going long uh, pre market only we know that this is a resistance so this was one beautiful trade intermediate cpr taken on the upside okay and we also got a buy trigger at the very opening okay and once this is opening if you are taking a buy around this which is a possible first target first target is this resistance zone but we also see have an intermediate um, uh, virgin cpr out there so around this we might have pushed uh, booked partially and then sat for this resistance okay so if you mark that resistance zone right this is the possible resistance zone uh, to watch out uh, for our target booking So let me just mark this. 
Okay, that is our resistance zone to book out our profits. So what happened beautifully, we got this one trade in the morning. After that, there was a rejection from here and then it was trading in this quieter range. Okay, we didn't any get any triggers out here uh, in because uh, uh, if, for a conservative trades, right? Maybe it should not have shown, but if you remove this conservative trades, maybe it might have given some possible reversal trade out here. Okay, but as I said, right? If you turn on the conservative trades, right, if you get something triggers like this, you always wait for that uh, retest confirmation or you wait for more triggers to go short or something like that. Okay. But in case if you are going short, right, we have to watch out like which is the first target for you. Like first target, you can see between these two, right? Uh, now we know this is a CPR and then between these two, uh, there is a buy order block, right? If you mark this buy order block, that is where it came and tested out. So if you are getting a trigger here, right, you have to know like this is your first target to book out your profits. Okay, that's how you have to uh, uh, trade out in case if you are using conservative trades uh, removed like. Okay, so uh, let's me just put the conservative back. Okay, so second session started. Second session, if you're seeing it's a little bit wider than the previous session CPR. So we can expect it to trade in a small range. And that's what has happened. This was a sell zone. You can see a sell order block also kept out here. It beautifully came tested that sell order block. Just once it tested this sell order block, right? Then all we have to watch out is for a possible sell trigger because we are now at a sell zone. Okay, when is the trigger that we got? This is where we got a trigger to go short. If you're taking that trigger, right? Uh, then possibly the target is this buy zone that is on the lower side. Okay, uh, we also had a buy a zone trigger right here, but you can see multiple triggers out here when this triggers were. See, multiple triggers in sense like we take confluences of different things uh, that we have built out. One is like uh, with the we trick uh, the trend line whether it is broken or not, and whether we also see like from where the trigger is getting fired. If it is a sell trigger, right, it has to be at a sell zone. Okay. If it is a buy zone, uh, trigger, it has to be at a buy zone. So these are the key things that we watch out. If multiple confluences are getting in place with an aligned with us, right, we get in on the trade line. Okay. So all this way it came to this buy zone. That's where you book out and trial your stops. Okay. And if you're trialing your profits out, this is where you exit out when the range uh, trend line was broken out. And also you can see this last red candle high is taken out on the upside. That is where you got a trigger to exit out. Okay. So again, from the buy zone, it is pulling up. We didn't get any buy trigger at this candle when the trend line was broken. Let's see, like in case of if you remove that conservative trade or uh, whether there is a trigger. Yeah, we got a trigger. Uh, if your conservative thing is off, right, um, then we can see this gave a possible trigger. But the thing is, like after this big candle getting on a long is kind of riskier. Okay, because you know, like it's a very, very big stop loss when you are taking a trade on a very big trigger candle. So what we do generally, we do a wait for a retest of a candle. Retest of a candle is you wait for a red candle and the red candle breakout, we can possibly go long. If you are going along on this, uh, stop loss will be this candle low or the previous candle low will be the possible stop loss. And what is the target? The target is the above whatever the resistance zone is there. That is the resistance zone. So uh, you can see if you have taken any of, any of these buys, right? Uh, the possible target is again given. Okay. So <clears throat> so today beautifully all the triggers worked out uh, perfectly and uh, it also uh, gave us a good uh, targets on the upside. Okay. So let's see like um, none of these triggers failed out. Let's see what Bank Nifty has done today and uh, <clears throat> uh, check out like uh, how the triggers worked in case of Bank Nifty. Okay. Bank Nifty. Um, okay. Uh, let's see like Bank Nifty what we analyzed in the pre-market. Let's check that. Okay, so this is the Bank Nifty setup, uh, what I published in the morning. So Bank Nifty, we said, uh, is uh, bearishly aligned for the day. Okay, that was our analysis. Okay, and once it is bearishly aligned for the day, right, uh, we said that uh, it's expected open flat within the range. And unless the CPR is not taken on the upside, similar like how we analyze, if the CPR is taken on the upside, that's where we said we will go for a possible long opportunity. And uh, in case CPR is giving resistance, right, uh, any rejection from the CPR, we said, we can expect to uh, uh, compromise of PDC. That is the previous day's closing candle is getting compromised. We can expect it to come and test this lower supports. That is here, previous day's low and S1 around this zone, right? We, we have buy zone here. That is the possible support on the lower side that we said like, okay? So let's see how Bank Nifty worked today. 
Okay, you can see this bank nifty uh, opened flat or in the range uh, flat opening and then it went and tested the CPR and we also have uh, discussed about a bearish reversal inside this. So bearish reversal exactly uh, found some reversal, the base get in place and then came all the way to this buy zone. Okay, you can see this, this buy zone, buy zone low was almost tested out and then pulled back again back to the CPR. So that's how uh, it has perform today like okay so let's see like what possible trading opportunities we had in case of bank nifty uh today like you can see this today this is where the opening happened okay and again uh i'm just plotting only the uh what you call as uh, intermediate cps with the intermediate support and resistance zones okay so uh <clears throat> so just one more thing i just wanted to clarify with you in sense uh, on the observation note like in sense um so thing is like the main mo mo motive behind this is we want to make it much more simpler okay that's the idea behind uh, what we do so let's see this small exercise which helps us to train our eyes okay so all i have done now right uh is okay let me also remove this order block so that uh, i just don't uh, key thing is i just wanted to show you or something uh which i find like in the analysis is helping me out like okay so uh so now what i have done right oh, okay i have all this enabled okay let me just i uh, even hide this uh, buy sell thing okay so uh <clears throat> what i have done now is i just plotted only the intermediate cps okay and the intermediate support and resistance zones okay the key thing is like uh, see we do this all this because we want to take trades along the direction of the trade okay along the direction of the trend okay so to identify the trend right uh, if you have what, what we have published out right in case of understanding the market structure we have also discussed about camarilla alignment okay that is the two-day relationship of the camarilla and the things and two-day relationship of cpr okay in that right we have discussed like if there is the cpr is aligned one above the other that is an ascending cpr then we consider that as a bullish alignment right and if the cpr is totally uh one above the other in sense there is not touching the cpr is not touching one uh together then we say that is a possibly very very a bullish structure okay so in this right uh, we have just plotted without the price of the nifty bank, bank nifty plotted on it it's just the cpr we have plotted so we know like uh between these two right it is a what you call as a slightly bearishly aligned okay because we can see the cpr is slightly bearish okay and between these two right you can see the cpr is totally one above the other that means to say uh this is just very very strong bullish alignment okay the price around this is strongly bullish in that case right this will be our possible resistance okay and there's also a lot of questions uh in the group uh in sense uh saying that uh uh, most of the times, right, my uh, support and resistance zones is not marked for that particular session. Okay, this is generally common question that is asked out because uh, the people expect like to have these kinds of support uh, uh, and uh, resistance zones plotted for each sessions. Okay, but the way this has been calculated is in case if there is no uh, uh, support or resistance plotted for this particular session, we have to consider this previous sessions. Uh, support and resistances for this next session too right okay so for example this day right this there is no uh no support or resistance plotted so this previous sessions uh, support and resistance right will act as a possible resistance for me so i have to just mark this as a possible resistance and we can see there is no support form from here so i have to just mark that as a possible uh previous whatever immediate is there right that will be my support okay that's how we consider for the next day right okay and if you see also the price how it is performed uh, from the same resistance you can see a tested resistance broken uh it came to the support and again went and tested and then back in the support okay and today also right that support was holding on once that support is uh, broken right you can see uh, the next support that is if you see here right this was the next previous support that is where it comes so the thing, key thing is why i want i want to share right in sense if you simplify only with those supports and resistance right we have to just wait on for that breakout of that particular uh, uh, resistance or support so the thing is like these support and resistances is calculated based on some mathematical formulas wherein which like right uh, the price around there right is more uh, facilitated for sellers and this price is more facilitated for the buyers okay so whenever these zones are getting compromised right then respective players or uh, uh, initiative buyers or sellers come into play right okay that's the idea behind uh, putting those so 
uh, if just checking the last two alignment itself, right? Uh, in sense, if you see these two last alignment, right, uh, of uh, bias and buy zone and sorry, uh, buy zone and sell zones, right? We can see it is bullishly aligned, right? In sense, that's how it's uh, between these two. Again, it is bullishly aligned. Okay, so when this is bullishly aligned, right? For me, right, in sense, this resistance, unless it's not taken on the upside, I'll be not looking for possible uh, strong uh, long opportunities, right? So unless this resistance is not taken out, I'll be not looking for a possible buying option. Once this is taken out, right, then I will watch out for the next uh, uh, resistance zone. That will be the next key level for, me, for resistance, okay? This is taken out. I look for buy and wait for the next resistance as the next possible uh, target if you are taking going on long okay similarly uh, vice versa if my support is compromised i'll be watching out for the next support if this support is compromised i'll be looking for this next support okay that's the key thing uh, that we watch out in case uh, just to put it in a simply simple format right uh, this is how it looks out like okay so uh, just a second i'll just be back into it <clears throat> Okay, sorry guys, uh, back again. Okay, uh, okay, so got it now, right? Uh, this is what I just wanted to mention. Okay, let's see now uh, <clears throat> how uh, Bank Nifty worked out today. Okay, Bank Nifty again opened in this. Uh, we knew this at the very opening. Uh, this was our resistance and this was our possible support. Okay, and we said like in case this is the in daily CPR, BC, PP and TC, right? If the CPR is taken on the upside, right? Uh, we expected a bullishness in the market and also we knew this is a resistance zone, okay? So morning, the very first five minutes candle is a very, very big candle from the buy zone. We didn't get a really good opportunity to go long in case of bank duty. <clears throat> Unless someone is really quick enough in uh, have a quick fingers in getting in the long at this uh, nearest to this zone, then uh, it would have been good. But it's a very tough uh, to get long on this particular uh, trade uh, on the opening, right? Because even if you get a buy trigger, we got a buy trigger only at 9.30. So not a very good uh, trigger to go long. Even if I got a buy trigger here, right, it was as a, a sell zone. So I'll generally wait for my retest entry to go long whenever the buy trigger is fired at my sell zone. If the buy trigger was fired here, right, I would have uh, comfortably gone long. But at the sell zone, I'd rather wait for retest entry. Retest entry is wait for red candle. Red candle high was taken out here. Again, not a good opportunity to go long. But anticipatory, someone have taken along, then uh, this zone is where you watch out for your target booking. Okay. But uh, next, what happened? If you have to take a fresh long again, right, this zone has to be taken on the upside. That's the logic, right? Because that's a sell zone. At the sell zone, we'll not go for a buy, okay? If you have to go for a buy, say, for example, now you've got a buy trigger at the sell zone, just wait for a retest entry. Retest entry is just wait for the red candle. Next red candle is this. High of that is taken out, you can go long. We didn't get an opportunity to go long. Again, we got a buy trigger here. Again, sell, red candle high was not compromised. Again, we're not looking for a long opportunity. Again. So what next? Uh, the next session, again, uh, it's kind of an... Uh, uh, no, uh, same uh, similar kind of a structure of a CPR out there, okay. Slightly bullishly aligned, if you see, okay. But uh, it was trading below the red line, that is, our trend line was compromised here and it was trading. We got a first sell trigger out here, okay. When you got a first sell trigger out here, we can see this was the immediate buy zone was there. You can see this between these two candles, right? The bulls pulled and it went up. So we have to wait for a retest entry to go short because we, we, if there is an immediate support at that. So we wait for the next uh, retest entry. That is, we wait for the next red candle, uh, sorry, green candle. Low of that is compromised, we can go short. We didn't get an opportunity, right? So we didn't go long uh, short on this. So again, we got a short opportunity here. Again, the similar kind of a structure, wait for a retest entry. Retest entry is get a red candle, red, uh, sorry, wait, green candle, green candle, low compromise. This is where we go short on this, okay? If you go short on this, right, which is a target to watch out. The target is this buy zone, okay? So uh, once this zone is uh, kissed out, you can book your profits and trial, okay? So how long you can trial? You can trial till this trend line is taken on the upside. 
till that uh, you can hold on there like okay and you can see this beautifully came this uh, uh, s1 support was tested that is a safe place to exit or book most of your profits because you can see multiple uh, confidence or the again no previous buy zone here so uh, if this is where you can partially um, maximum book out and then hold on so this is where you got a confirmation of a trend reversal out here so once the trend is reversed right and you also tested it's the buy zone and s1 is tested definitely we can look for a possible long opportunity okay there is immediate sell zone out here so not a good uh risk reward in sense as you see but if you have to take a trade again right you just wait for a buy trigger to happen this is where we got a buy trigger immediately there is a sell zone so you just wait for a retest entry retest entry is you wait for a red candle red candle high taken out you can go long stop loss below this and then sit for the next resistance which is the next resistance this is our zone for the next resistance target <clears throat> sorry that's how it went and tested our targets so multiple opportunities we had in the market in case of bank nifty 2 morning this long uh, it's not a very safe trade i would rather not take this i didn't i didn't take this trade too like okay but this was a beautiful trade opportunities we had and second of also we had a good trade opportunities but uh thing is like you can see this this is around three o'clock candles so uh even though uh someone has taken an anticipated or this two 245 250 candle entry then they would have made profit but uh this is a riskier trade uh, i would rather uh in sense any trade after 245 to three o'clock right uh it's kind of riskier based on your risk ability uh this one right you can opt for that or not okay so i will say this was one beautiful trade that was very high probability trade that we had in the market other than that this was a kind of a okay trade like okay okay trade in sense it's a riskier trade okay so this is a possible trade opportunities we had in case of nifty and bank nifty okay uh i think so some questions were also there on uh similar lines uh, by raju okay one request if you change the color box of the buy sell uh, signals conservative so that we will not miss any triggers okay uh so the key thing is one is like uh currently uh if you just go and uh, uh put the alerts right in sense once you go and set the alerts like uh say buy sell trigger alerts right uh, by default it will uh, give alerts for both conservative and non conservative both of them right the triggers will get fired okay uh, but uh, you can uh, opt for um, in sense uh, remove this or you can add this and then get the settings but uh, whenever the trigger is fired you can always validate that okay in the meanwhile in the upcoming builds i will try to uh, uh put a uh, different color for conservative and different colors for non conservative so that uh, um, in sense it's much more visually uh, seen out uh, which is a conservative entry and which is not a conservative entry yeah definitely uh, that uh, point is taken uh, in the upcoming bill right definitely i'll just try to include that uh, along with it okay so let's see like what uh, trade opportunities we'll have nifty and bank nifty for tomorrow so let's see nifty now like okay so nifty uh let me just go on a daily chart and see nifty how the structure looks out uh this is the nifty daily candle with the monthly support it's pulled back and then bouncing back now uh the last analysis we said like in case if it's pulling on the upside right uh, this is the monthly uh, resistance zone uh, that is the monthly cpr should act as a possible resistance that is around uh 18 130 to 150 levels is where the next resistance around there is there okay it is heading towards that okay so tomorrow uh this monthly resistances of uh 18 120 to 130 levels right should act as a possible resistance for us okay that is the thing so if you see next day pivots right uh this is a 15 minute chart of nifty with the next day pivots plotted okay um let's see now okay there you go uh now if you see the alignment right it is highly bullish alignment okay so during the close the cpr uh were above the today's cpr and this is the last resistance that's where it's holding closing is above the next day cpr so perfectly bullishly aligned of the day right and then someone is holding a uh, long positions uh overnight uh then this zone right uh is a possible sell zone right that is where the sellers are sitting in the market unless 18 155 is not taken on the upside right there's chances of again market trading in a range okay so tomorrow in case <coughs> sorry in case uh, <coughs> nifty opens a uh, gap up right this uh zone should act as a strong resistance so any rejection from here right we can anticipate uh nifty to again 
come and test this CPR and then trading range and CPR compromise, right? Maybe we can expect again to test this buy zone. Okay, so there's good chance that, and you can also see this is good, there's a bullish reversal uh, that is the golden pivot is inside the pivot. Okay, so that is this 18,000, right? Should act as a very, very strong support for us for tomorrow's session. So, in case on the opening itself, it comes and test this. Uh, uh, CPR mid, right? That is our bullish reversal. We can possibly expect it to go and test this 18105 will be the first target. So any entry opportunity for us to go around this, right, uh, will be a good uh, uh, long opportunity to watch out for this target of previous day high and then this uh, zone. Okay. So in case <clears throat> Uh, during the first half itself, if 18.155 is taken on the upside, right, then definitely we can sit for this T1, T2 targets on the upside, okay? That is likely to go and test on the upside because we can see this is the resistance. That resistance taken out, there is a good uh, uh, move on the upside till 155 and then even 240 to 250 levels on the upside. So this is bullishly aligned for the day for uh, Nifty for tomorrow's trade setup, okay? So we'll be looking for bearish only in case of the CPR compromise or 18,000 getting Compromise, right? That way, that's the reason. We, uh, that's the point. We we'll look for any bearish reversal uh, opportunities. Okay. Otherwise, it is bullishly aligned. So let's see Bank Nifty how it is alignment is there on daily candles, and then come to intraday setup. Okay. So daily candle, if you see right, uh, kind of a doji, but uh, close just above that bullish reversal zone in case of a daily candles. Okay. And you can see this previously, right? Uh, you can see this is a buy order block that was plot plotted if i just plot that uh, old buy order right let me just plot this if you can see this uh, this is a good buy zone that was previously uh, buy orders were placed when the market pulled up this zone is strongly again holding on uh, you can see this today exactly around those phrase it's again find it's closed okay so this support getting compromised we can see a good selling in case of bank nifty unless this is holding good right there's good chance of again pull back let's see like how its structure looks out uh, on the intraday chart okay so this taken on the upside right we can again expect this 40 to 600 levels on the upside in case if it's bullish tomorrow okay so that's the uh on our daily candle time so let's see uh nifty, bank nifty on a intraday levels okay intraday uh, levels if you see right uh closing wise it is says like moderately bullish okay the cpr even though is uh, bearishly aligned right in the camarilla alignment if you see right it is slightly bullish that's the reason in the dashboard it's saying uh, moderately bullish okay so in case of moderately bullish right we can see this today's uh cpr right it's closed almost at the intraday's uh, cpr mid okay around there and then finally settled down there but it is above the next day cpr okay so unless this cpr is taken on the upside right uh, we'll be not very comfortable that uh, bank nifty will again pull back on the upside okay so for us right there's 42 uh 400 we can see like it is 42 378 so we can say like 42 400 unless it's not taken on the upside there's good chance it might again be in a range okay <clears throat> but since if the cpr support holds good right and again, it pulls back on the upside and the previous day's closing price is also taken on upside. We can possibly again look for long opportunities. That means to say that if the bank nifty opens flat, right, and able to sustain and pulls back above this PDC, then definitely we can look for some longer opportunity. The first target will be this previous day high. Okay, that is our bearish reversal that taken out, right? Maybe we can expect it to again test this R1 and bullish breakout. Okay, you can see this old zone, right? It's a sell zone out here. Okay, so that will be the next possible target in case if we get an opportunity and bearish reversal is taken on the upside. Okay, but in case CPR is getting compromised, right, or any reversal from this bearish reversal, we can, uh, on the, if it opens a, a slightly gap up or something, then um, then we can again expect it to be in a range like uh, how it has traded today, right? Similar kind of a structure we can expect it to, to trade in here today. Okay, and today, tomorrow is Wednesday, one day before the expiry. So in case if it so opens in the range and maintains that uh, uh, the extremes of the day, that is the previous day's highs is not getting compromised. We can anticipate Bank Nifty to again trade any range for the old day. Like in sense, it, whatever the yesterday's range is there, right? It will try to uh, maintain in that range uh, uh, for the expiry trade session. Okay. So these are the possible trading opportunities uh, uh, we are looking out in case of Nifty and Bank Nifty for tomorrow's session. Okay, so in case of any doubts, right, or maybe you can raise your hand or you can post uh, uh, in the chat box. Okay, we'll uh, happy to take those questions.
you do ask questions in case if you have taken a trade and then it's reversed out or uh, the triggers did not worked out as expected maybe you can ask those questions too so that uh, you can okay one second yeah gaurav sharma you can ask your question okay hi hi uh, um so my question is on the bank nifty uh, the uh, the resistance zones for today Okay. So now, in terms of the charts that you are showing, uh, or the morning resistance zone, yeah. uh, the candles, uh, you know, the resistance zone is coming slightly different as to what I am seeing on my, uh, you know, the indicator chart. Okay. So the uh, candles are above the resistance zone. Is that something that uh, I need to do some changes, or is it? No, you should get exactly the same charts like how do. If you are not getting right, one thing you can check parallelly as we are discussing is, uh, see uh, if you open Bank Nifty right, just make sure that extended targets uh, that you can see on the rightmost corner right, this is enabled. Mm -hmm. So if this is by default, I think so. Uh, regular trading hours is enabled. If you that is on right, uh, you can see this resistance is slightly squeezed out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Just, I, think, I think I'm seeing like this only. Okay, just uh, go and uh, do this. Just go and uh, select this extended trading hours. Okay, it's on ETH. Yeah, it's ETH. Yeah. Okay. Extended trading hours is ETH. Okay, fine. Okay, so Thank now you. it gets up. Yeah. yeah, the logic behind why I introduced this is, uh, say, for example, now this extended trading hours is nothing but say our markets gets closed at three twenty, right? Three three thirty. But uh, there is some uh, after market hours uh, where the Retailers are out, but the institutional players are active. That is uh, between this three thirty to three forty-five time, right? And also in the morning, uh, from uh, nine eight to nine fifteen, around those time, uh, there is some price actions that's happening. Okay, so uh, what the uh, what do you go? Uh, what the, you know, the server does is, or the what the behind the scenes happens is, they calculate the average price and plot it out this PDC or the last day's closing price. So. Mm -hmm. uh, the indicator right we also uh, calculating that and putting out so this has to be uh, enabled to that but i'm just working on uh, in the indicator logic itself even though it is not enabled right uh, i pick the levels with it like okay so that work is in progress once that is fixed right maybe then uh, whatever uh, whether you have this uh, regular or extended it will automatically plot the right ones like but uh, that is work in progress like it just takes some more time okay thank you yeah yeah welcome Cool. Uh, any other questions? Okay. Uh, Suresh is asking. Explain the yellow line formed inside the CPR. Okay. Yellow line formed inside the CPR. Let's see. Like today CPR. Okay. The morning session. Okay. Today's a morning session, right? We had the yellow lines inside the CPR. Yellow line CPR is nothing. If you have watched the video, right? I just explained that. See, yellow line is nothing but your inside Cambrilla. Okay. Inside Cambrilla is nothing but, uh, say, for example, this is my H3. That is your bullish reversal, bearish reversal, and this is my H4. Okay. And we consider the market is highly bullish or highly bearish when these zones are completely uh, one above the other. That is, they are not uh, even overlapping. So now. Uh, this is my H3. This is my L3. In our terms, this is our bullish and bearish reversal. Sometimes, what happens, right? Uh, if the market is alignment is like this, it is highly bullish in nature. But sometimes, what happens, right? The first day CPR is like this. Uh, sorry, first day Cambrilla is like this. Second day Cambrilla is something like this. Okay, that is I mean to say that uh, this is my second day. The H3 and L3 is totally encapsulated in the previous uh, H3 L3. This structure appears whenever there is a compression in the price. That is, when the price is totally squeezed out, right? We get this kinds of uh, scenario. Whenever these kinds of scenario happens, right? Uh, we can expect the market to uh, when the break uh, have a breakout, like okay. So that is the logic behind it. So what the indicator does, right? Whenever these kinds of structure is getting formed, right? The uh, CPR mid, that is your PP, right? That is a pivot point. I'm just marking in an orange color. So that will say that we can expect some volatility in the market. That's the logic behind uh, putting that. I think so. Even in case of Nifty today, we had one of the CPR uh, intermediate CPR. I had a uh, this one like a. Uh, let's see. Okay. Then uh, today also uh, CPR itself uh, we had a PP was orange color. That is the logic behind uh, because now uh, let me just show you like in sense uh, exactly what has happened. So I'll just enable Camrilla uh, and then disable all the other things so that I can uh, 
exactly explain what it is like okay so i just plotted only the uh, camarilla levels as of now okay and historic camarilla levels okay so uh, in the historic camarilla levels so um, okay now okay so in this case right the camarilla is not aligned one inside the other but uh, if you just plot the cpr also uh, let me just also plot the cpr and the historic cpr okay you can see this is the yesterday cpr let me just hide the intraday camarilla levels okay i just only plotted now the cpr okay this is yesterday cpr cpr high low mid and low and this is today cpr so you can see inside cpr is been formed so again the similar kind of a structure inside cpr again we can expect a possible uh, volatility in the market that's why we are seeing this okay so this yellow line will be plotted for you either if it is an inside cpr or it is an inside camarilla i am checking both the conditions and then plotting for you okay so whenever those uh, scenarios is uh, confronted right we will see that okay suresh uh sarwani okay indian bank based on buy trigger i bought stock at uh, let me just check indian bank uh, let me just open indian bank okay intraday you are watching out this uh, let's check indian bank okay uh, indian bank what you said is indian bank on buy trigger i bought a 1000 quantity immediately sell shown okay this buy where you bought right and then immediately uh, sells shown i sold immediately after that sell disappeared within seconds uh, please guide okay mm -hmm. sharani one thing like just watch the videos uh, course uh, completely okay so one thing that we have to be very sure right see whatever uh, logic or whatever the indicator is been built on is built on basically the price action right so say for example i am considering a buy trigger it means to say that i am just checking the price action of the last few candles and other support and resistance zones and then coming out with a possible buy or sell trigger okay that is basically nothing but until the candle gets closed right uh, in case during the first say for example each one is a 5 minutes candle in the first 1 minute right if it able to break this uh, previous days a uh, previous candle high right it will say is a possible buy okay but what might happen is in the very second minute of this 5 minutes candle right it might also come down okay so in that case right this buy might come and then it again go will it will be off like okay so that's the high the uh, key thing is like we need to wait for this candle to close and then take a decision okay so if you have to go for a buy right we have to wait for a buy and then go long on the closure of this candle and the, uh, that's the discipline we have to follow it okay but i am trying to uh, see through that like uh, we get triggers only after the gets, candle gets closed that is work in progress but as of now right uh, you have to wait for the candle close uh, to take entries okay that's the thing and uh, the other thing that you have also said like on this buy trigger you go, have gone long uh, and then immediately uh, we got a sell trigger or something like that right but uh, key thing in this stock if you try to analyze right what is the structure that is there in the stock uh, alignment white right you, know, you can see it is moderately bullishly aligned okay that means to say the mark we can possibly look for a long opportunities so where do you go go for a long opportunity you go long of the above the cpr okay so this is my cpr right and then you got a buy trigger and the breakout of this cpr so if you have to go long on this right uh, we have to first thing you watch out watch out is in in intraday is uh, you can see there's a buy zone from the buy zone it is pulling up you also got a buy trigger which is the first resistance you can see between these two candles there is a sell resistance sell zone just mark that sell zone okay and then if there is an immediate sell zone when you got a buy trigger right you have to all you have to do is just wait for a retest entry to take this out okay just wait for one more red candle high of that taken out right we can possibly go long and you can see this it didn't uh, worked out for us and then again the market pulled back okay so the key thing is like even this uh, even though the trigger says buy or sell right we have to take a confirmation based on the where it is happening okay so this buy and sell is not uh, actually uh, what you call as once you trigger you go buy like okay this is uh, a momentum of the buyers on sellers and those candles are more like okay so when you get a buy trigger right that means to say there is a strong momentum by the buyers to push it up okay but if it is at a resistance right you have to take that extra validation and then check it out uh, before you take a position in that okay that's a lot of hand <clears throat> fine uh, any other questions you can raise your hand uh, otherwise we'll close the session at this
Okay, cool friends. Uh, good night. Uh, then uh, we'll again catch up for, uh, tomorrow in the post market sections. Hope these triggers and el- things is helping out. And uh, I just want more of you guys' uh, feedbacks on uh, how it is working out or any problems you guys are facing out. We'll try to uh, work it out together and more learnings as we are uh, proceeding each day, right? We'll do uh, uh, and get the trades in much more, more professional way in the coming days. Okay. See you guys. Good night. Take care. Bye.